uh, summarize the preseason as far as what stood out to you, maybe some good things, maybe some things you really want to hone wow. in on the rest of the time before the regular season begins? Well, for this group, you know, the thing that stood out the most was their level of maturity, uh, the difference in what we started off with last year and how these guys have been now, uh, the chemistry, the continuity, and their line of communication. I think that's been big for what we've, what we've asked this group to do. What, do. what do you tell the group as far as not overpassing, but also making sure you're getting the quality shots up? I know sometimes it can be a juggling act a little bit. Well, you know, you want to get the best shot available, but, you know, we want our guys to understand and trust the pass more than anything and, and these guys have done a fantastic job of sharing the basketball I mean I think we were up there in the assist for the preseason so I think that's something that we got to continue to hit home on and you know and dive do a deep dive into it because I really want our guys to understand sharing the basketball that ball brings energy to the group and I think the more we share it the better we'll be the regular starters and the regular second unit getting the night off last night what was the focus of practice today and how, how oh, I'm hard glad they you go? said that. I'm glad you asked that. They'll talk about it. it was, today's three focuses were conditioning, health, and execution. So we focus on really a lot of conditioning, you know, where we will be, you know, come Wednesday night, uh, then the, the execution side of it. So how do we focus on the details and how do we continue to not beat ourselves in games? And then the last piece of it was health, you know. So obviously there wasn't a lot of banging going on, but it was just a mental focus of what we need to accomplish in our execution and our game planning. Obviously, during training camp, you're focused a lot more on yourself, but how, how do things change now that you're kind of getting into the grind of the regular season? Do things change at all? They, or how does how the emphasis emphases change? Well, they, they will change a bit, obviously, with the opponent as they come in, but you know, you constantly want to make it about what we do. And are we executing those things the way that we've asked them to, and are they following the game plan? Uh, we have our keys of what we want to accomplish this year when it comes to, you know, detailing our work, putting the work in every single day, uh, playing with a sense of joy and energy, and just making sure we're covering and playing for one another. Those keys are always going to be there for us as our identity. Uh, now just, it's just a matter of who, whether we play Houston or Portland or Lakers or Clippers, it doesn't matter. It's going to be about us. We've heard uh, a lot of players throughout training camp, throughout media day, talk about wanting to get off to a hot start. How important is, do you feel that urgency to, as the season begins to, to get off to a strong start, especially after what happened last year? And, and do you feel like that's something that's important for this team? I think it's very important for our guys to come out the right way. Uh, but, but it goes into the mindset of walking into every single game. And, and I think it, it was a great way to do, have the preseason go that we didn't ease into games. You know, you start off the right way. You start off with a high level of energy and, and you know, enthusiasm enthusiasm for how we want to play and that's going to carry over to the season. When it comes to limiting turnovers, how much of it is just patience, discipline, execution, things of that nature? It goes back to what we've, what we've talked about as a group is detailing our work and, and it's spacing. You know, how are we on the floor? Where are we at? How far do we want to be apart from each other? Uh, when do I cut? The timing of the cut. How am I setting my screens? Are they switching? Are they not switching? I think we have to be able to recognize those things, but those are the details that we're trying to get our guys to execute and understand. In the fourth and final preseason game against a team like Flamengo, what stood out to you about Anthony's uh, effort, you know, in a game like that situation? I, you know, I really think he's just, he's a, he's a phenomenal defender. Uh, he has a knack for getting after the ball. He has extreme and great length uh, in that he can, he can make sure he gets hits on the ball. Guys don't feel comfortable dribbling in front of him. Uh, but then when he takes a bump, he's able to expand and keep the basketball in front. So I think that's very unique. And then he's always played hard. And I think that's just one of the you know, great qualities about him. Thanks, Coach. Kind of summarize the preseason based on what you saw, some things you guys did well, maybe some things you really want to work on. Um, I think we did a good job of just coming out and competing, I think, the whole game. Um, I think defensively we came out with good effort for the most part. Um, offensively, I think we continue to try to move the ball. We had a lot of assists in most of the game, so obviously sharing the ball really well. Um, things that we obviously would like to continue working on, I think, is turnovers and um, continue to you know, make the right play and make the simple plays over and over again. You know, I think that that's something that we're going to have to keep home, homing on and continue to go through as we go through the season. Um, but I think you know, training camp was great. I think that you know, uh, I think the last game was pretty fun to see you know, guys that didn't get to play in the beginning get a chance to go out there and, and showcase and have a chance to get you know, out there and play and for us to be able to support them. So 
Um, training camp was good. I think it was all, everybody was really locked in, but I think we're all really looking forward to this, you know, the first game. Even though we took each preseason game as a real game, you know, really looking forward to getting ready for this first game. You mentioned sharing the ball. You guys obviously are a very unselfish group. What's the juggling act, though, between not overpassing, but also making sure you're sharing the ball and getting a quality shot? Um, I think we're just taking the best available shot uh, when we have it, you know, and, and it's keeping it as simple as that. If you got a great shot, shoot it. But if it's a good to great, then make that pass. But um, we don't want to overthink it. I think we all believe in the abilities that we all have. But again, we want to be very aggressive, but also shoot open shots when we have them and, and not pass those up. So um, I think that's what keeps it pretty simple for us and, and try to limit turnovers. What did you want to get individually out, out, of, pre out of preseason? Just be healthy. I think that was my biggest thing, just finish the preseason healthy. Uh, obviously, I got other goals, you know, just continue to get in shape, continue to work on my defensive pressure, continue to work on, you know, shooting the ball and, and being aggressive on offensive end. But uh, my, my biggest goal was just come out of preseason healthy. And um, I did that. And like I said, I'm getting ready for the first season again. I know, you, I know you're, you're one of the one of the veterans in, in this group, but you don't have a lot of kind of preseason yeah. experience under you. So how, how how did your approach to this preseason change, knowing like you know what you need to do for the season begins, but you haven't maybe gone through this process this process uh, as, yeah. as often? I think it was just like I said, just taking this time to really get in shape, and using this time to get in shape, and pushing myself, knowing that you know I wasn't going to play a lot of minutes most likely, you know. So just really trying to get myself in shape and work on things that you know I, I, I want to let my teammates know I can do, and also. Uh, learn their games as well. So um, I think I'll use it as that. And then, like I said, the main thing is making sure I didn't get hurt. So while I'm doing those, not doing too much where I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hurt myself or anything like that. And, and take also the other part of that is the recovery part and really homing in on recovery and taking care of my body off the court. You just mentioned getting in shape. Coach Mosley said one of the focuses today was conditioning. Yeah. What was that like when we can't see practice? Take me through what the conditioning was uh, like today. A lot of running, a lot of getting up shots, game speed. Um, yeah, it was a lot of running, but, but but good running, you know, where we had to be focused and make sure we're in our spots under control. But, you know, we, we were shooting a lot of game-like shots, getting up a lot of shots, um, a lot of 5 on 0 and just mentally locked in, but going game speed. You mentioned before about limiting turnovers. You've played on teams that ranked really well in limiting turnovers and also on the other end. Yeah. Just based on experience, what determines that? Like, how, how does it kind of come to be that you either rank high or low in that department? I think it's just, you know, identifying, you know, what your teammate's going to do, understanding what your teammate, where your teammate's going to be on the floor, but also not passing up open shots and not forcing things. I think that with that comes also, you know, defense leads into to, to it to get better shots and get, you know, easy ones, but also, just really making sure each person focuses on taking care of the ball. You know, when we have one turnover, we're not coming down and piling it up, you know. But most of the time, it's not one guy who has it. It happens when one guy gets two, another guy gets two, another guy gets two, and then next thing you know, you know, we got 17, 20, you know. So um, I think it really is just focusing on, you know, being more mature, being stronger with the ball, and understanding what the defense is doing. We've heard a lot of guys throughout, throughout training camp, I'm sure even one of them, say how important it is to get off to a, a good start this year. Now that you're kind of on the doorstep of the regular season, how critical do you feel like getting off to a good start and, and starting the season well? It's super is. important. I and mean, it starts game one, you know, and we've been locked in on that since we came into training camp, you know, especially knowing what the start we had last year and even having the chance to still make it into the playoff. We know how important the beginning of the season is. So um, we're taking it one game at a time, but we're not trying to start off slow. We're coming out, you know, guns blazing. We all have a, uh, something to prove. We have a chip on our shoulder. And um, we're really locked in and looking forward to that first game.